In provincial politics, Premier Doug Ford's government was hit with a major surprise today. One of Ford's top cabinet ministers, Education Minister Todd Smith, announced his resignation just weeks before the start of the school year. Ford has named Simcoe North MPP Jill Dunlop as the new education minister. She was the minister of colleges and universities and previously served as the associate, associate minister of children's and women's issues from 2019 to 2021. Stormont Dundas South Glengarry MPP Nolan Quinn will take her spot as minister of colleges and universities. Al Sweeney was following this story today and joined us earlier from the premier's annual Ford Fest celebration in Milton. There are about 100 people out on the street outside uh, the Ford Fest, lining the road here in Milton as people go into the Ford, Fe Ford Fest. These are protesters, labor and environmentalists with their perspective on what the Ford government is doing. We'll get to that in a minute, but first of all, today's news and the concerns about what's going on in the Ministry of Education with kids going back to school in just a few weeks. Todd Smith was one of the senior ministers in Ford's government. He was part of the cabinet since the Tories were elected in 2018 and spent most of the past three years as energy minister. In a statement today, he said he has made the very difficult decision to leave politics and accept a position in the private sector. In turn, the premier issued a statement thanking Smith for his service, saying Smith leaves politics with a record that he can be incredibly proud of. But opposition leader Merritt Stiles says Smith's resignation threatens to create chaos with a new school year coming up and education in crisis. For the last six years under this government, and, and for a long time, our, our system has been struggling. And so I think for a lot of parents, you know, you get a new minister, you think, maybe they'll come in and actually fix some things before my kids have to go back to school in September. And what this means to me is you're gonna have another new minister come in, more chaos, more crisis. Liberal leader Bonnie Crombie issued a statement saying, our schools are overcrowded and Ontario's economic growth is falling behind our rivals. She says, we don't need a new education minister, we need a new government. Green Party leader Mike Schreiner echoes that. This is a government that clearly does not prioritize public education. And I think for the sake of our children and the future of this province, we need a government that's going to invest in public education. Stability has not come from the Ford government, and I evidence that by the fact there are so many unfilled jobs, so many unqualified people working in the province in education. There are 40,000 fully qualified teachers in the province who are not working in education because the working conditions, everything in education says find a different job. Political science professor Nelson Wiseman says Smith could be leaving because the premier put him in the education job he didn't like. Here he was, a long-serving energy minister, which is a very uh, pivotal and powerful portfolio in Ontario because a lot of uh, private interests are at stake there, as well as obviously public policy. And then a few months ago, he gets shuffled into... Uh, education. Political commentator Keith Leslie says Smith's departure fuels speculation about an early election. To see someone leave the education ministry after just 10 weeks, I mean, essentially turning it into a summer job, uh, that's a bit of a blow to the government. And again, to lose such an important minister at this point. So unless Ford is telling his cabinet ministers, look, if you're not going to be running again, and I'm considering a snap election, get out of the way now.